Nuclear power startup TerraPower said it is considering building five additional advanced reactor units in western states, a major development for an industry that hopes to transform the nuclear power sector with the next generation of reactors. In this video, I bring you the news in detail, make sure you stick with me to the end of the video. Without any further delay, let's get into it. A new day for nuclear power? Could we be witnessing nuclear power's comeback? After decades on the back burner, the sweeping climate change bill recently signed by President Biden includes multiple initiatives boosting existing and future nuclear plants. California this week took steps to keep its last reactor from shutting down, and Germany is taking similar actions. And Terra Power, the next-gen nuclear power company backed by Bill Gates, announced a massive $750 million investment round in August. Let's get familiar with what Terra Power stands for. Terra Power is a leading nuclear innovation company that strives to improve the world through nuclear energy and science. Since it was formed by Bill Gates and a group of like-minded visionaries, Terra Power has emerged as an incubator and developer of ideas and technologies that offer energy independence, environmental sustainability, medical advancement, and other cutting-edge opportunities. It accepts and tackles some of the world's most difficult challenges. Behind each of its innovations and programs, Terra Power actively works to bring together the strengths and experiences of the world's public and private sectors to answer pressing global needs. TerraPower will be building its first demonstration plant in Wyoming, a sodium-cooled fast reactor that includes a molten salt-based energy storage system that can act like a battery for short-term energy boosts. At maximum output, the natrium reactor should be able to power 400,000 homes. The $4 billion project is largely financed by the new funding, plus more than $1 billion in Department of Energy support through a public-private partnership. The 16-year-old company has employed 370 people. Another company, X Energy, is building its own Department of Energy-backed demonstration plant in eastern Washington, but while there's momentum for nuclear massive hurdles remain, there's currently not a source of reactor fuel for TerraPower and many other new companies. Thanks to Russia's war on Ukraine, federal regulators need to figure out the licensing for cutting-edge reactors, and time is short. The two demo projects are supposed to start splitting atoms by 2028 under a schedule set by Congress. When asked about the climate legislation known as the Inflation Reduction Act and how it can best help Terra Power, Marcia Berkey, Chief Financial Officer for Bellevue, answered that among the most important things is the HALEU provision, which is short for High Assay Low Enriched Uranium Fuel. That's $700 million in support of HALEU. Today, Russia is the only place in the world that produces it. By giving the Department of Energy awards to two demonstration reactors and other lower-tiered awards that weren't part of the two demonstrations, the U.S. government was committing to helping develop technologies that require HALEU, and so it was always the plan to have domestic capability and capacity. What this bill does is it really accelerates that domestic capability. In response to their trajectory, looking ahead, Marcia Berkey stated that the U.S. invented nuclear, and that this will show that they can reinvigorate and continue to have a leadership role in the U.S. and in advanced nuclear. She added that they've had mission-driven, courageous, and committed investors, but they are a privately held company, a for-profit company. So, they need to sell commercial plants and earn a fair return for them. So in the 2020s, they will demonstrate the technology, and then in the 2030s, they will sell the commercial reactors and reinvigorate that market to at least hold to 50%, if not greater, of U.S. carbon-free electricity provided by nuclear. When asked what gives them the confidence that they will be able to meet their timelines and stay within budget, Berkeley highlighted that it is a legitimate concern. She clarified that if you look back decades, you'll see that the U.S. has built power plants in five years or less, so they have experience doing it. And what gives her confidence is that their team is really working on using ready supplies, where available, versus using all custom-made materials. And she added that they have whole-of-government support behind them. What about licensing? from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, NRC? Berkey stated that though the NRC has never licensed a reactor of this kind, but she can see already in their work with them that they're very committed to trying to do what they can to stay within this demonstration schedule, because it was Congress that picked the seven-year timeline. 
Talking about limitations as to where they can build reactors, Berkey disclosed that access to shipping by rail, barge, or road for some of the fabricated parts is really important. It certainly helps if there is a strategy, either in a state or in a nation, to decarbonize, creating the urgency to deploy. She added that markets that need high reliability power, like data centers and steel and concrete, are a fit. They do need water, they need a grid, and they need a stable geologic site. Just recently, TerraPower has been exploring five advanced nuclear reactor units across West. TerraPower announced on Thursday that it would conduct a feasibility study to explore locations for up to five of its next-generation nuclear reactors. The study will be conducted in partnership with Pacificorp, with business units operating in Oregon, Southern Washington, Northern California, Southeastern Idaho, Utah, and Wyoming. Vision reactors could be deployed by 2035 in the Pacific Corp service area, the companies revealed. Pacific Corp provides safe and reliable electric service to 2 million customers in six western states through its operating divisions, Rocky Mountain Power in Utah, Wyoming, and Idaho, and Pacific Power in Oregon, Washington, and California. The company works to meet the growing electricity needs of customers while protecting and enhancing the environment. The president and tariff Power CEO Chris Levesque said that this joint study is an important step toward building the energy grid of the future for Pacific Corp customers and a tangible example of the promise advanced nuclear brings to serious utilities to lead the nation's energy transition. Terra Power and Pacificorp are currently working together to build the Terra Power's first demonstration plant in Kemmerer, Wyoming, on the site of one of the state's retired coal-fired power plants. Terra Power plans to submit its construction license application for the Wyoming reactor to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in mid-2023. The two remaining coal-generating units at the site are scheduled to be retired in 2025. The demonstration reactor is expected to begin splitting atoms by 2028, according to a schedule set by Congress. The recently announced feasibility study will concern additional natrium reactors. Washington-based Terra Power was launched in 2006. It is headquartered in Bellevue and has a 65,000 square foot research center in Everett. There are still significant hurdles to clear before the demonstration reactor is even powered up, including NRC approval and finding fuel for the reactor. The only current source of fuel, as I have stated earlier, is HALEU. The Inflation Reduction Act approved by Congress this summer includes $700 million to help address the needs for a new HALEU source. The legislation also includes the Clean Power Generation Tax Credit, which provides financial support for clean energy sources, including nuclear fission that comes online after 2025. And what about the $4 billion price tag for the demonstration reactor? That should should go down, said Marcia Berkey, chief financial officer of Terra Power. Quote, with a demonstration, there are a lot of new things that we have to build. There is a fairly expensive fuel fabrication facility that will not be developed a second time. We have to get the NRC license, for example, Berkey told Geek Wire in a previous interview, so there are a lot of unseen costs in the $4 billion that don't replicate in the commercial plant, she said, which is typical in technology development. Nuclear power from fission reactors currently supplies nearly 20% of the electricity produced in the United States. The first commercial power generating nuclear reactor was commissioned in the country in 1958. The newest reactor was powered up in 2016 in Tennessee. Next up, Terra Power and Pacific Corp announce efforts to expand natrium technology deployment. By working together on the natrium demonstration plant and jointly studying the feasibility of adding up to five additional commercial units by 2035, Terra Power and Pacific Corp seek to identify opportunities to reduce costs for Pacific Corp's customers and more broadly deploy advanced natrium reactors. The joint study will evaluate, among other things, the potential for advanced reactors to be located near current fossil fuel generation sites, enabling Pacificorp to repurpose existing generation and transmission assets for the benefit of its customers. The location of future natrium plants will be thoroughly explored through this study process, and both companies will engage with local communities before any final sites are selected. Congress and the Department of Energy under the Biden administration have taken proactive steps to continue to support the deployment of advanced nuclear technologies as part of a suite of solutions aimed at achieving carbon-free goals. 
With the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act, the Bipartisan Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, and recent studies on the opportunities of coal to nuclear energy transition, the role of advanced nuclear is clear, Terra Power and Pacific Corp remain committed to bringing the natrium technology to market and providing reliability and stability to the grid as well as to energy producing communities. That concludes today's video, my friends. If you found the video helpful, please do consider giving us a thumbs up and don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. See you next time.